everyone, today at Top Gem, I'm gonna talk to you about Cheese Rescue. It's a Jekyll game for two to four player for our seven years and older. It's a game where you have cheese and a small mouse going around. So I show you how it plays and tell you what I think right after. So the game comes with four set of six cheese. So each player is gonna take a set. It comes with a center card for uh, when we're playing at two players and it comes with a bunch of cards which is a mouse, a cat and a dog that are um, just in <laughs> a lot of quantity here. However, depending on the number of players, they will ask you to remove some of those cards. So if you are two player, you have to remove a certain amount. If you're three players, etc., you remove a certain amount of cards. The goal of the game is to make the most points and we're gonna get points when we are placing our cheeses on the board. So if we manage to put this cheese on the board, we get three points or one point or two points, etc. However, the goal of the opponent is to stop me from putting those cheese and how to do so, he can place one of his mouse beside my cheese, which means the mouse is gonna eat my cheese and I'm gonna have to remove it from the board. If I want to protect my cheese from his mouse, I can put a cat because the cat is going to scare the mouse and then we're going to remove the mouse. Then my cheese is going to be safe, no mouse around. If he still wants to stick with eating my cheese, he can put a dog. When he's going to put the dog beside the cat, the dog is going to scare the cat and then the mouse is still going to be there to eat my cheese. So the goal is really to have the most points what we're gonna do we're gonna shuffle all of these cards make a, a deck and we're gonna start playing i'm gonna prepare a two players game so me i will take uh, to start the triangle cheese like so and my opponent is taking the circle cheese we have a deck here and then we put the center card for the two players game now every player is gonna take two card as a start and then we're gonna start playing. The first rule is we have to put a card beside the center card and then all of them after needs to be beside a card. At a two player game, we are making a grid of five by five maximum. And then when we place, we pick up a card from the deck. It's now my turn. And now me, this is what I have. So I have to place all my cheese and try to work around this here. Okay, so my opponent put a mouse, meaning this mouse, if I don't do anything, is gonna eat the cheese. So I have a cat, that's perfect. I know the cat is gonna scare the mouse. And then I pick up a new card. So here we have made the five card on this side. We cannot go further or down or up. We need to go on the side. So my opponent has a lot of cheese. I think it's time I place this here. And I have a dog, so hopefully this mouse can eat his three-point cheese. We also have reached the five on this side, so here our grid is already defined. So now I have picked up the last uh, card of the deck, doesn't matter, now it's time we're gonna finish our cards and we have to know that at the end we're gonna keep three cards in our hand, it's really important that I put more cheese on the board if I want more points. Okay, so we are done. Like I said, we have three cards in our hand left, which we're not gonna use. And unfortunately, I didn't put this cheese, so I will not get this point for now. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna remove every cat that was scared by a dog. So this cat is removed because it's beside a dog. 
and this cat is removed as well. Then we're gonna remove all the mouse that were scared by a cat. So this cat is scaring two mouse. One, two. This cat is scaring two mouse. Two. And that's it. Then we're gonna remove all the cheese that were eating that by the mouse that are left. This mouse is eating that cheese. This mouse is eating that cheese. And that's it. So what's left on the board is the point we're going to have. I have the uh, triangle cheese. So let's say like this. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. And my opponent with the circle cheese, two, three, four, and five points. So I win the game. So what I think about cheese rescue, first of all, the cards. So if you look at the cards, this the mouse here and the dog. And we have the cat, really, really nice cards. And then we have the cheese here. So we have four types of cheese. I have two here with the point on the corner. And this game, it's not that easy. I think we are not, uh, our brain is not meant to think this way because when you put the mouse beside a cheese, you know that you want your opponent cheese to, to get eaten by the mouse, but then he's protecting it with a, with a cat. And then are you acting with the dog? And it's not that simple. So until now we have played multiple times and I don't feel I'm really good at this game yet because I feel it's a little on the complex side. Uh, you can play and put wherever you want and see the results, but if you really want to make a strategy and really think about what you put and where, I think it's gonna take a few games before you get used to it. Overall, I really love that game. I think I'm gonna keep it. I think it's an original game that I never seen before. Really new way to think uh, how to play the card, so I really do recommend it. And I see you later. Bye-bye.